Hi there, and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about viral infections and the dietary changes that can help heal from these infections and even remove these viruses from our bodies for good. Now viral infections can easily attack and wreak havoc in our bodies. They penetrate our cells to reproduce and inside our cells these viruses release their genetic material so that they can reproduce. And sometimes these infected cells may die as a result and sometimes they don't die. But when they do die, they release these viruses which go on to invade other cells. Luckily, most viruses do not kill the host cell, but the virus does infect our body and our immune system will attack it and remove it from our body in a number of days up to several weeks and will prevent future invasions from this virus through immune system memory. On the other hand, there are other viruses that can sneak into certain cells in our body bypassing the immune system and these viruses can hide for a very long time in our cells and some may even cause permanent infection, they'll stay there for good and may even go unnoticed. Now most often these lifelong uh, infections, these lifelong viruses that are in our body, they remain dormant for most of the time. They don't reproduce and they don't cause any illness. However, if we overwork, have too little sleep, are overstressed or do too much exercise or we have some kind of illness or nutritional major in nutritional imbalances, then these viruses can suddenly awaken and cause many symptoms in our bodies that we don't really know where they come from. Now there are many viral infections including the herpes, influenza, HIV, hepatitis C, measles, and the Epstein-Barr virus which is the most prevalent. It is, has infected actually 90% of all adults in the United States, which is incredible. Now this re virus uh, remains in different cells in our, in our body permanently and most often it remains dormant except for in the initial period and it may, but in some people it may actually cause serious illness. There are other viruses that can cause chronic infections like hepatitis B and C. These infections can last for many years causing liver damage and, and cirrhosis which is a severe scarring of the liver and may even lead to liver cancer. Now some of these viruses are also sexually transmitted and some can really devastate the lives of those infected with terrible symptoms. And, and most times doctors don't even know or are not aware that it's a previous viral infection that could be causing the symptoms. Fortunately, there are some foods that can help in the healing process and can also even help our bodies remove these viruses from our body for good. Now, the nutrients I will now mention either help support the immune system to fight off the viral infection or help the, uh, the body destroy the virus and most often remove it from our body. I suggest including all of these foods that I will mention in your diet regularly, when you're certainly when you're suffering from a viral infection or even when you believe that uh, perhaps dormant virus has suddenly reawakened <laughs> and you're, you're suffering from certain unexplained uh, symptoms uh, that could that has followed severe um, mental or physical stress in the body of some kind. So the first nutrient is L-lysine. It's an essential amino acid which is used for protein production. The supplementation of this amino acid improves patients with all viral infections, research shows, and it is very recommended either in the form of food or in the form of supplementation for a healing from viral infections. Now legumes are a natural source of L-lysine, especially black beans and lentils. Tempeh, which is a cultured soya product, is very rich in L-lysine and it also contains probiotics which allow a healthy gut microbiome which strengthens the immune system. Now quinoa is high in protein, high in fiber and high in L-lysine. Excellent food uh, for healing from viral infections. Soya milk and soya beans are also excellent source sources of L-lysine and protein as well. 
Now, other quick snacks such as pistachios, uh, pumpkin seeds are also great sources of L-lysine, which will all help fight off the viral infection. Now, the next nutrient is a phytochemicals. These support the immune system, they lower inflammation, they decrease uh, free radical damage to our cells and decrease the growth of viruses. Now, phytochemicals include polyphenols, which are found in wild blueberries and raspberries, all sorts of berries as well. And they should definitely be included in the diet regularly. Phytochemicals also include beta carotene, which is found in carrots, spinach, kale, cantaloupe, uh, green leafy vegetables, apricots, broccoli, and winter squash. Now, another phytochemical you may have heard of is resveratrol, which, um, which is found in high levels in grapes, pistachios, and berries, as mentioned before. And of course, there are polyphenols in teas, which are the most commonly consumed phytochemicals, and they're very easy to add to your diet on a regular basis. Now, vitamin A is needed for boosting the immune system to help fight off the viral infections and helping remove the toxins that are made by the viruses or that actually feed the viruses inside our bodies. So we definitely want to get foods that are rich in vitamin A, sweet potatoes, carrots, squash, lettuce, parsley, cilantro, and also citrus fruits are great. Now, uh, antioxidant nutrients, including zinc, vitamin C, and selenium, also support the immune system to help fight off the viruses. And these can be found in sprouted seeds, um, which, uh, for example, sesame seeds can be eaten as tahini, and chickpeas can be eaten as hummus, pumpkin seeds, garlic as well, which also has other antiviral properties. Now, the next nutrient is medium chain triglycerides. And coconut oil is an excellent uh, food for fighting viral infections because it is one of the only sources in nature of medium chain triglycerides, which have natural antiviral, antifungal, and antibacterial uh, properties. Now, two of the most potent medium chain triglycerides found in coconut oil are lauric acid and capric acid. And um, these attack and kill the viruses, especially those with fat coatings. Uh, and it's also beneficial against harmful bacteria and fungi, but it is harmless uh, to human cells. So I recommend that when you're feeling a little bit run down, take a tablespoon of coconut oil and, and not actually coconut oil, it's coconut butter. Excellent. And it also, you can put it on the lips when you have an active herpes infection. Now there are also herbs that exhibit antiviral properties by hindering the growth and the spread of viruses. They are harmless to human cells, and but they actually kill the viruses. Now, these herbs also boost our immune system and have other perks. They support our heart, they support our, our digestive system, and they also exhibit anti-inflammatory properties. These herbs should be consumed regularly as part of your diet when you're feeling run down, or when you know that you have a, an active viral infection. So antiviral herbs include ginger, elderberries, uh, or oregano oil, which you can buy in any health food shop, calendula, echinacea, uh, cat's claw, licorice root, astragalus root, and olive leaf. Now, when you consume these foods that give your body he healthy doses of these phytochemicals, vitamins, and essential amino acids needed to fight off the virus, you can really help reduce the symptoms and even remove the virus from your body, destroy it. So these are the foods and they're also excellent as a preventative medicine and can really strengthen the body's immune system. So I hope this has helped you. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. You may subscribe to my channel as well or visit my website on www.thegorilladiet.com for more health and nutritional information for free. Thank you very much for joining.